and hello and welcome. We did a video like this for the original NES stuff added to the eShop through Nintendo Switch Online. So I figured we'd do one just playing around with each of the games for a couple minutes in the SNES lineup. Uh, for a lot of you that already have it downloaded, this will probably not be enough time with any of the games for you to really care about. But for the rest of you that just want to know what is in this package of Nintendo Switch Online for SNES, and whether or not it's worth it to sign up for Nintendo Switch Online so that you can play it, which you do have to have, uh, we'll just go through a couple of the games here. and I mean, we're going to go through all of them, let's be honest. We'll just go through all of the games here, and uh, we'll show them off. Some of these I've never played before. Uh, sure, we'll go with the Ninja. And yeah, we'll go with these two guys. That looks good. I think this is a beat em up. I don't want to suspend the game right now, though. And yeah, the rewind feature and everything like that, the save states, all of that's available right from the get-go with uh, SNES Online, which is very nice. Oh, that's cool. I don't feel like I'm connecting with anything, though. Oh, that did it, though. Okay, yeah. It definitely feels like a beat em up. Music sounds good so far, and there's not any frame problems that I can see so far. I think that might be a parry that I'm throwing out there. I thought it was an attack, but I think it might be a parry. Uh, but it seems to play pretty well. Again, this is one of them that I had never played before. Oh, you have a double jump. That's cool. Oh, ho! That was nifty. Okay, didn't know I could do that. Does that cost health, though? In a lot of beat em ups, that cost health. I think it did. Nah, I died. Okay, uh, and then of course you can create suspend points from anywhere here. Which is really nice. Uh, or we could... I thought we were going to switch to the other character, but okay. It's a cool looking beat em up, honestly. I could play more of this. But let's uh, let's go back to the other games. Let's see, it's this button, and then yeah, Breath of Fire. For anybody who's never played it, Breath of Fire is a very very old. I say very very old. They're all very very old, right? These are all SNES games. But uh, can you tell this is unscripted? <laughs> a nice classic RPG. The series that came from it hasn't had a new game in a while, unfortunately, but uh, it's got some really good music. Uh, yeah, we'll start a new game and we'll probably, uh, what's the default name? If I hit end, will it just give me a default name? Oh, no, that all seems good. Yeah, everything seems fine there. Can we can we start though? How do we? No, I want to start though. Yeah, I hit new game. I hit save one. We put in the name. It takes me to this menu page. I guess we have to configure the keys first. I don't want to rewind game. I don't want to rewind. Stop. Stop it. Menu needs to thank you. Uh, how do how do I start? <laughs> I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Do we have to? Is it? Do we have to put in a game a name then? You just name him Ryu. No, because then it just brings us back to this menu again. That time it worked. Okay, sure. Not a disaster. We won't play any of these RPGs for very long either, even though I absolutely could spend a very long time playing them. 
You'll perish if you don't wake up. I think I played Breath of Fire 1 when it first came out. And it's been since then, basically. Oh no! It's pretty useful magic, man. Safe from the flame, but we were just upstairs with fire. What do you mean it's safe from the flames? It's a good question. Fire doesn't seem natural. Yeah, basically we'll do our first battle and then we'll probably move to the next game. Ha! She moved back. Dark dragons are outside. Zog. What do you think, Esme? He doesn't know that we've lost the power of the dragon. Sarah. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Protecting us from the flames, but dooming us to our fate. Dooming her to her own fate as well. The music in this scene. I always follow orders. Whoa! I always love that little slide he can do. Nothing personal. We have the goddess keys. You're a pretty good scrapper. Too bad you're on the wrong side. Nothing personal, kid. Like, this is really cool, the amount of work they put into this fight scene, you know? Like, your battles aren't going to be like this. Is that all you've got? <laughs> when 
the dragon family was at the peak of its power, a goddess of desire appeared. The goddess, Tyr, granted wishes. The dragons fought each other for her power. Tyr encouraged the fighting and watched the war between the dragons escalate. When the world was at the brink of destruction, a warrior stepped forward. The warrior battled Tyr with his seven companions and locked her up using six keys. These goddess keys were scattered throughout the world and hidden away. The Jade clearly won the fight, as you can see there. The Light Dragons balanced the power of the family, and peace reigned again. Until now. My guess is that, like, when she dies, her magic fades, you know? Go! The warrior of the dragon. Come on, chief. Haha! Hear that heroic music? It means it's time. Getting our first battle. Get ready. And then, like I said, after our first battle, we'll switch games. Again, like, walking around on the overworld, that happened in a lot of other RPGs at the time, but it's still, like, they did a really good job here. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice. I don't think we have any magic yet. Still only level one after all. Huh. And then the best thing about this is we could create a suspend point right here. And then we just have a save for it. We can come back whenever we want. So to the next game. Demon's Crest. Obviously some of these games will spend more time on than others. But uh, we're just going to move through them, you know? I want to at least show off combat in all of them, if possible. Demon's Crest. I feel like this was a lot easier on the NES side where stories were a little bit uh, less common in games back then. Like, there still were some great NES stories, don't get me wrong, but like games, more games did not have stories back then than did by the time the SNES came around. I think this thing will like super mess us up too. Yeah, like that. I remember this game being ridiculously hard. Probably won't play too much of it, to be honest, but I remember it being super difficult.
Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on. I never was a big fan of Demon's Crest back in the day. <laughs> F Zero though. F Zero is a great game. With some amazing music. What's the button? Oh, there it is. We're good. Before you're like, Trey, you've played F-Zero forever. How do you not know the buttons? Very different on uh, Joy-Con than it is in the original SNES controller. F-Zero is so good, man. It gets crazy too at times. Ha ha! Ha ha! We almost died! <laughs> I almost messed up! I almost messed up real bad there! We'll finish this race, then we'll switch to the next game. Do 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 do. Ho ho. Ho ho. It's okay though. We're catching up. Got it. No! 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 Stop it! Oh, they died. Oh, we're gonna lose a lot of speed for that. Yeah, we lost a lot of speed for that. Ah, crud. Okay, we got two more lads to pick it back up. First place is mine! No! We'll get it back. We'll get it back. It's fine. Final lap. Ooh, we're going super fast, too. We could easily wreck out and die if we're not careful. More speed! Ba -da -da -da. No! No, 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 we're not losing now. Woo! Look at how close that was, man. Oh, man, all right. Yeah, well, that's F-Zero. I've never played uh, F-Zero before. That's F-Zero. It's a really good game. It's a lot of fun. You should play it. Nope, we're stopping right there. We're going to move to the next game. Next up is uh, Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics. I never played Joe and Mac 2. I played Joe and Mac 1. I thought the first one was fine. It wasn't like the best game I've ever played or anything, but you know. All right, let's do some Joe and Mag. Probably won't play Joe and Mag for too long, because although I've never played two, I didn't super like one. But that said, it has been many, many years since I played Joe and Mac one. So it's very possible that I will come away from this with a different intention entirely. Tiki Village first. Gotcha. Okay. No one's home. It's so lonely, man. You can't get in. Why not? The door's right there. All right. Well, let's go. Yeah, for me, Joe and Mac was just like a really strange platformer. 
It wasn't like bad per se, it just was really weird. Oh no! It's also like really difficult, but it definitely plays a lot better than I remember it playing. Haha. -ha. Checkpoint. I missed the jump. Get off! Get off! No! Stop fighting! I don't actually remember what that is or what that does. Oh, that's the key that we needed to open the door. Okay, makes sense. Aka Hills! Like, it's got a lot of charm to it, right? And I definitely have a better appreciation for it now than I did before. But, uh... How did I do that? How did I do that? Oh, no. What are you? <laughs> Ride the worm? How do I do that? Oh. Oh, I see. All right. We'll go a little bit further and then we'll switch to the next game. Wait, a car? A minecart, I guess, right? Prepare for a wild ride. Oh, wow, okay. Oh! Well, that seems like a good time as any to switch, but yeah, that game's not as bad as I thought it was, honestly. Oh, load, right, create. Like, why is it letting me save? Kirby's Dream Course! Do, 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 do. I think I've never... Well, I say I think. I have never played this game personally, but I have seen people play it before. actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be trying to do this. Alright, there's today. Yeah, so basically this is like a golf game almost. Oh, I messed it up. And people like swear by it. But I just never played it myself way back in the day. I thought I angled that right where I'd go in, but I missed it. Okay, uh, right there, and then we need to put just a little bit of jazz on it. No! Too much jazz! It's okay, Kirby, we got this. I put way too much there. Way too much. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I want to turn it. No, I want to turn enough that we go in. Like right here. And then. Aha! Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, that game's fine. Kirby's Dream Course. Kirby Dreamland 3 is a little bit more up my alley, to be honest.
It's just so charming, you know? So cute, man. Do 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 button I meant to push. Ow. Let's go, Chew. Boomerang! It's, it's just such a charming game, man. I love the Kirby franchise. I still think 3 is one of the best. We'll play a little bit further and then we'll switch to the next game. Oh, Chew, no! Okay, we'll go ahead and switch here. We'll, we'll eat one of these guys and then we'll switch. <laughs> it's just so cute, man! Okay, yeah, we'll we'll save it here and we'll switch game. Pilot Wings is up. So far they've all been like really solid versions. It helps too having all the extra options right at the start, like the rewind and everything. You ever dream of flying? The Flight Club offers a variety of aerial sports to thrill and challenge you. Dare to take the first step and earn your license. Join the Flight Club now! Hi, I'm Tony, and I'll be your instructor for Area 1. Our lessons will cover a ba few basics. Retake, landing an airplane, and skydiving for accuracy. You complete two objectives if you score 120 points or more to pass. Start by landing the plane. Follow the green glide path and land on the runway. Roger. Well, Pilot Wings was like super ahead of its time. It looks so good. We gotta level out though. I got too busy playing around. Okay, nope, nope. Come back in left. We're way too high still. Oh, we're gonna crash. No, we're good. It's been a long time since I played Pilot Wings. Oh, we got this. We got this. Look at this smooth skill right here. Ready to descend's too great. That's fine. We got this. Keep your power above zero or you will stall. 
Appreciate it, Tony. Never give up! I just... I think of two things right away. One is, uh... Sentai, never give up! And the other is the, uh, never give up man. Akira Mintayo! Skydiving time. Maneuver through the three rings. Land inside of the yellow target area. Alright. This one I failed so many times as a kid. We're probably going to fail it here too, to be honest. But we'll give it a shot. <laughs> as a kid, this was ridiculous to me. Like... The thought that people actually did this, you know? As a kid, I thought that was crazy. Now. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get it. We got it easy. Don't worry about it. We got this. We got this. We're not going to break our legs. We broke our legs. We pulled the chute too late. Rotate to steer until you open your parachute. I can't believe you almost died. All right, so we'll go to the next game. Pilot Wings is good, though. OG Star Fox. OG Star Fox. It's uh, got a really good intro. Do, 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 do. I played this a lot as a kid. Watch me completely die a lot now. But Roll boost. I love how it shows you the SNES controller too, because it's just using the old version, right? They didn't make a new version for this. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, no, let's just go. F let's go straight into the game. It'll be fine. I'm sure I remember enough to be able to get by, right? Star Fox team, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, I love it so much. It looks so good, too! Like, look how good it looks, man! And you, people will go, well, that's just polygons. It's like, yeah, but when you give a game a stylish look and feel, like, no matter how old it is, it'll still have a... <laughs> I love that. It'll still have, like, the old uh, feel for it, you know? That was my bomb. Didn't mean to fire that right now. Sorry, Slippy. I'm actually not sorry at all, but, you know. Do, 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 do. Last year upgrade. Interesting, you can't just hold down the blaster in this game. I'd actually forgotten about that. Ooh, it's still fun, though. Do 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 Watch your aim, Fox! It's kind of hard to play this first level without thinking about the 64 version, you know? He was mine, Fox! Because I played so much of Star Fox 64 back in the day. The blow up headquarters. ba da 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 Dun, 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 dun. Let's go through the buildings. We might die, but we need to switch games soon anyway, so let's go through. <laughs> like, you couldn't do that in games back when this came out, you know? That's so crazy to me. It's so nuts. 
do 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 do. Push through all those. My memory has not let me down. No worries, Peppy. Also, I need health really badly. Is that health? Yes, it is. Bee bomb. Fire a bee bomb. The hatches are open. All right, we'll uh, we'll get through like one more big encounter up here because I think the boss fight's coming, and then we'll then we'll switch. But I could just play this for. Oh. And of course, like, the first game started it. You know, the boss comes in and it has this long opening wind up here. Fire a B bomb. That was way too early. Well, not really, I guess. That B bomb. Ooh. Get out of the way. I don't even know how many times I died to this boss way back in the day, and just right now. I forgot those home in on you. It killed me a lot when I was a kid, too. Alright. We'll call it there. Switch to the next game. Stunt Race FX, another game that I don't think I've ever played. Do, 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 do. And of course, they'll be adding games to this as time passes. That's just what they do with these uh, Nintendo Switch Online things. Sure, I've never played it. Let's go with the novice one. That makes sense. I think I had a friend that owned this game and kept trying to get me to play it. And I was like, no. He owned a racing game. I remember I'm going backwards. For the SNES that he kept trying to get me to play. Oh no! Oh, okay, that's a cool animation though. Meeting up all of my boosts. Do I want to be doing that? No. No, I don't. Break. Break was not enough. him as a buffer to go full speed around that corner I don't know what that did but it seems like it was a good thing also I feel like it's a little disingenuous when it says laps because that's not the same map is it there wasn't a truck before no it's the same map okay I'm just insane oh wow okay we went into the world for a second there Mario Mario checkpoint It seems like going into the walls is okay, though. You don't really lose any speed. For hitting the walls, which is weird. Alright, we'll finish this lap and then we'll switch games. Like, it looks like you lose a little bit of speed. But it feels like I lose way more speed when I break. Or when I go off on the grass, I feel like I lose a lot of speed. But that could just be, like, my own brain lying to me. Oh no, that wall hit's gonna hurt. It's okay, though, we got lots of boost to spend. Woo! Go! 
Yeah, that's cool. That's not bad at all. I think that's nifty. Okay, so this EDF, I've never played it. But what I do know is it's very different from Earth Defense Force, as in the newer games. Never played it, but all I've been told is it's different. Super EDF. Ah, uh, well, there's only one weapon to choose. Oh, no, there's not. Okay, uh, let's go laser. Oh, it's a shmup. Love shmups. Oh, I took a hit there. Took a hit there, too. Hits I didn't have to take. I gotta get used to the hitbox on this thing. It's a big ship for a smup. They're normally smaller than this. Took another hit there, too. We're still early days on this. Oh, no! Yeah, we died. Okay, we'll try another weapon if it gives us the choice, and if not, we'll just go with a laser again. I want to continue. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go with... Vulcan doesn't seem bad. S laser seems really good. Photon, grenade, homing. Oh, I have to know what S laser is. I have to know. Oh, it's smart laser. That's already way better than regular laser. The big thing about shmups, I love shmups. I'm bad at them, but I do know how to play them. I'm just bad at actually doing it. The big thing about shmups is you don't look at, like you do look at the entire screen, right? To know where everything is. But once shots start coming out, you focus on where your character is and focus on their individual position compared to all of those shots so that you can dodge them all. It's more about your personal positioning than it is anything else. And I know I'm not one to preach about shmups because of how bad I am at them, but uh, I do at least know how to play them. I just don't know how to play them well. All right, we'll switch it up. We'll go to the next game. Because we still have quite a few to go. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I hate this game. I just want to make sure everybody's aware I hate this game. Uh, to be fair, I have not played it since I was a child. But all I remember about this game as a kid is that it's really difficult. And over the years, seeing it played again, all I've seen is it's really difficult. Which is not really, you know... I don't play games just because they're hard. Does that make sense? I don't know. No, the princess. Also, she might be my wife. How dare you? I do like Arthur as a character, though. I think he's really cool. When he showed up in uh, Marvel's Capcom Ultimate, that was really cool. Ultimate Marvel's Capcom, I guess. Uh, we lost our armor immediately. Oh yeah, you can double jump. That's right. I do think it has some pretty cool music, too. Oh, yep. Okay. Alright, we'll give it one more, one more old college try, and then we'll switch games. Ah, oh, was I supposed to wait up there for it then? Is that what I was supposed to do? For it to spawn so it wouldn't be in my way? No, there was nothing I could do there. Okay, we're switching. All right, next up is Super Mario Kart. This is a game I've played many times before. We probably won't spend too much time on it, but we'll do at least one race, right? Do, 
Koopa. Clearly, it's only Koopa. It's B, not A. Excuse me, Mario. So far, like, it's not a bad selection of games, right? It's not a lot of games that I probably would have chosen for the first set. But, you know, it's not bad. Pilot Wings is really good. Breath of Fire is really good. F Zero is really good. Joe and Mac is surprisingly good. Uh, and then there's been some cool stuff, like some nifty ideas, you know. I think for a lot of people, the draw is going to be these games in the bottom rows. I've been forgetting the power slide. Oh, no, power sliding hurt me there. Oh, we're about to lap Toad. We're about to lap Toad so hard. Hey, Toad. <laughs> oh, no, we hit him. Luigi. Get out of here, Luigi. Oh, no. Oh, no, our lead. Our lead. And Luigi's got a star. Okay, Luigi's star is gone. There we go. Not bad. All right, we'll switch to the next one now. Yeah, I think really it's going to be this set right here that gets most people. Although, like, it's OG Star Fox, Breath of Fire is good, F-Zero, Pilot Wings, Kirby Dream Land 3. There's stuff in here, I think, for just about everybody. But, again, there are definitely some other games that I would have put in. This is one of the best games ever made, though. So... You know, hey, if you just want to play Mario World again, <laughs> it's the way to do it. <laughs> if you want to on your Switch. Do, do. I've played this game so many times over the years. I've played this game so many times over the years. Dies immediately. That sounds about right. This game also has an amazing soundtrack. Just that coin. Just that coin like a fool. There's a lot of secrets that I've passed here. Oh, that was stupid of me. That was also stupid of me. Ah, oh, I meant to jump up higher than that, but I bounced off him. Oh, well. We'll go do the other first world just for the fun of it, and then we'll switch games. Is this a really good game? If you've never played Mario World, what are you doing? You need to play Mario World. Do, 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 do. Ba -da -boom, ba -da -ba -da. I think we could have used this switch, turned those blocks back in the start in the coins, but oh well. What I really wanted was to get the yellow blocks. Wow, This just makes me want to fully replay uh, all of world right now. 
All right, we'll do this other starting level and then we'll switch game. I think this is the one that a lot of people start with because they don't realize they need to do the other one first to get the yellow blocks. But the yellow blocks have some great stuff in them. So Yoshi's in this one? Yeah. Hey, pal. Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Extra life if you already have a Yoshi, which is great. Yoshi, of course, can be them. There's a secret here. Sorry, Yoshi, gotta leave you behind for this one. Just hang out for me right... Nope, wrong button. Hang out for me right here. Thank you. Points. Feed your Yoshi. Important. <laughs> Got it. Do, 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 do. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da. This game's really good. This is, no joke, one of the best games ever made. All right. Definitely going to create a save point, a suspend point there, because I'm definitely coming back to this. Uh, but let's go over to Yoshi's Island, a game that I don't enjoy as much, but I also played quite a bit as a kid. Long, long time ago. Yoshi's Island is really cute. Though. All the Yoshis live here. Again, a new adventure for Yoshi and the baby. Here we go. Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back. A countdown begins. The countdown counts down to 10 and then you die. I always thought like Yoshi's Island controlled really well. I just really hate the baby mechanic a lot. I think it's the idea of like an escort quest. And even though the baby can help you out in a lot of ways, you know. Just for me, for whatever reason, it just does not work. Definitely getting up there that way. Ah, oh, man. There we go. I knew there was, a, like, a, a special way it's supposed to react. Alright. We'll do one more screen, then we'll move to the next game. I think I might have just selected the same level again. Oh, no, it's the other tutorial. Make eggs, throw eggs. Right. A little info box and be like, hey, this is how you make an egg. Grab an enemy and then make the egg. Yeah, it's definitely not bad at all, but uh, it just never really worked for me, you know? Okay, let's switch games now. There's a lot of people that love Yoshi's Island, and I do not blame them.
This is also one of the best games ever made. No lie. Boom. Do it. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Galaxy is at peace. Yeah, no, this game is amazing. If you've never played Super Metroid, like, ugh. The reason that I even wanted to do this video, I mean, obviously we did the other video, so I needed to do this video, but the reason I wanted to is because it had Super Metroid, Mario World, and Link to the Past. Three of the best games ever made. 100%. I forgot how long this intro is, man. Okay, now we'll be coming in from where I cut the intro off because I forgot how long it was. So, Super Metroid, again, one of the greatest games ever made. Uh, it's crazy that three of the best games that have ever been made came out on the same console. Uh, those being, of course, uh, Super Metroid, Link to the Past, and Super Mario World. Uh, we are going to go ahead and make a save here. Uh, just because I want to play this game again another time. And now I have that save that lets me skip the intro. <laughs> Super Metroid's so good, man. Like, there are people in this world that haven't played this game and have no desire to play this game. Not that, like, they can't play it. Not that, like, there's no way for them to play it, but that they just have no desire to play it. And that is crazy to me. If you're one of those people and you're in the comment section, please tell me, why do you not want to play Super Metroid? Because it's one of the best games ever. It's the baby. The baby Metroid. Don't worry, baby. Mama Samus is here. Oh no, it's Ridley. You can die to this fight. I think my first time playing it, I did straight up just die to it. I mean, you basically have to die to it because Ridley needs to win. But still, like, you can just die immediately if you're not careful. Ridley does a lot of damage to you. Self-destruct sequence activated. I wonder if there's anybody out there that has actually failed this on accident. You know? Because, like, the only difficult part is this jump sequence up ahead. And I guess the steam doing damage to you would be difficult, but... You don't actually take damage from it, so it's just a knockback, but... It's more to slow you down than anything else, because they don't want you to die here. But, like, I guess this jumping sequence, somebody could, like, get stuck here and die, right? I wonder what happens. Does it just make you start the countdown back over again? Back to Zebus. I guess we'll hit Zebus and then we'll switch to the next game. Look at how good that looks, man. Look at how good that looks. All right, now we're on Zebus. Yeah, 
Yeah, Super Metroid's good. Super Metroid is very good. So. Create another suspend point for there. And then next up we have... I think this is Tetris? Like Puyo Puyo Tetris? It's interesting that it's the only one on here that has like the Wonder Swan uh, logo. I recognize that fish though. I don't see Dr. Dog, but this sure looks like Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's all still in Japanese too, okay. Well, I would have rather gone up against the skull, but okay. Yeah, it's all in Japanese. It didn't get translated at all, but okay. I mean, it's still probably super playable, right? Because it's just Tetris for the most part. It's Puyo Puyo version. Alright, we need to play some setup game here. Okay. Ah, I didn't mean to clear that yet. I wanted to play a little bit more setup. Oh, I don't have any green on the table at all yet. Dang it. Yeah, that's going to have to clear too. I don't have a choice there. Anybody who's never seen me play Tetris on the channel, I play a, a mean game of Tetris, but I also play a lot of setup Tetris. I don't play a lot of just Tetris on its own. Like, if I'm playing Tetris, I'm playing Tetris. I'm doing setups, I'm throwing trash at you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to destroy you. That was a waste. That was a waste, too. We could have had some great setups going there. This is not bad, though. The five will be worth it. The bad thing is I could do this all day. Like, I can literally play Tetris forever. I adore Tetris. Will this clear out that trash right there? It will. All right. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll, uh, we'll move to the next game. I think chat was really surprised when I streamed uh, Tetris Effect. The fact that I'm actually decent at Tetris. Like, I'm not good. There's a lot of people that are good at Tetris, but I'm decent at Tetris. It's a lot easier when I'm not commentating. All right. That could have been set up a little better, but it, it'll work for now. Oh, this guy's getting to start right away. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, that's annoying. I didn't even get a chance to start setting anything up, but okay. Right, we gotta start clearing this stuff out. Bad. Don't dump. Oh, you jerk. All right, there's some trash taken care of. This will take care of some more trash. I'm gonna bring those blues together, which will move that and dump some trash on him. And then there we go. And there we go. And that's how you play set up Tetris. Okay. I need this green over here, but I want that blue over there. All right, this can work. We can get something going here. If we do this, I should have put it in the middle. Dang it. That was my mistake. I messed up there. Yeah, we could have got some good damage on them there if I'd put that in the middle. They are not letting up though, man. Need some blues. No, that was a huge mistake. I might have just cost myself the match. I need a blue really badly. All 
Aha! That's good. That's a good game. That's that's a good game. We're gonna make a suspend point there. Come back to that. Okay. Super Soccer. I have never played Super Soccer. I've played a lot of Super Tennis. Never played Super Soccer. I'm trying to select versus computer. There it goes. Triple goes Germany, why not? I have no idea what I'm doing, so we'll see how this goes. I think this is our goal right here too that I kicked it towards like a dummy. Oh, uh, he gets it. Good save, goal. I hate how it's auto-switching me. Like, I get why it's doing that, but I hate how it's doing that. Because, like, three different times there, it switched to a different character than the one I was trying to get to do it. Wonderful, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Why? Why would it go to him instead of me? Why? All right, we're done here, we're done here. I hate the way it auto switches you so much, we're done. Super Tennis though, I have played quite a bit of. Oh, that sound. Takes me back, man. Yep. Let's do singles. That'd be fine. Uh, man, my old team was like Yuka, Nancy. Or like Yuka. Might have been Bert as well, is what I would roll with. So we'll pit them against each other. It doesn't matter. They all have the same stats, but it, you know. Play. Fault. Immediate fault. <laughs> Wait, she hit the net. No, she hit the net. How was that her point? Fault. Why is it a fault, though? I'm hitting it right. Why? Ah, that was a miss. That was on me. That was on me. That was on me. Okay, we can do this. Focus in. Focus in. Change court. We got this. They walk by each other. Oh, man, I really love the music in this game. I'm not going to lie. It takes me back. The nostalgia's hitting me hard here. Play it. I missed it. It's on me. Fault. You faulted that time, Nancy. Nancy, what was that? What was that net shot just then, Nancy? I gave her score for it, too. They gave her score for hitting the net. Ah, oh, I missed. That was on me. Nancy's about to sweep us here. Fall. Better fall. My agent will be calling your agent. Oh. Yeah, sure, that was out. It didn't look out to me, but okay. Ah. All right, we'll do we'll do this set and then we'll switch. Ah. Oh. 
All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll switch. I'm really badly out of practice, apparently, and can't play anymore. So we'll just play my one of my favorite games. I almost said my favorite game of all time. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Love this game so much. It's one of the best games ever made. I don't know, I've said that three times today, but I absolutely mean it for all three of the games that I said it for. Some of the best games that have ever been made in the history of gaming. We gotta stop him. Uncle, no! Uncle, don't go! Uncle, it's not safe! I actually just finished Link's Awakening this morning. Like, it's really cool to see the remake that is of Link's Awakening. It's really cool to see Link to the Past again. We'll free Zelda and then we'll call it. Uncle, no! A sound effect, man! Excuse me, sirs. Magic power. Rupee. I think the torch is going to be tied to Y. We're going to find out. Sword has such low reach on it. Okay. Do 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 do. Do ba dum ba ba dum da. Ba dum da 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 da. I always try to go straight to the end of this place first, which is not the path, you know? Again, just like Super Metroid, if you've never played Link's, uh, Link to the Past, I almost said Link's Awakening, and like you have no desire to, tell me why in the comment section down below. I'm really curious. Because like maybe this style of game is just not for you, but this is, no joke, one of the best games ever made in my opinion. At some point I'll make a video on it about why it's so good. <laughs> oh, not today. Nope. Ooh, that got close. It seems to be a, a good enough version of it so far, though. Like, it still plays well. Targeting is a little bit weird for me right now, but I think that's because I've been playing Link's Awakening and just beat it. And so I keep trying to swing the way you would swing in Link's Awakening, where your sword has a really wide arc and has a good range on it. 
and he just does not have that here, you know? Which is fine. Oh, I used my key already, that's right. Badu, badu. We gotta get another one in here. And get the boomerang! Oh, let's start. Yep, it's Y. Princess, I'm coming for you. Don't worry. We just this game just oozes style, man. Yeah, we'll save Zelda and then we'll call it because otherwise I could play this game forever. But I always thought it was funny that there's three hearts in there. Because, like, how would you possibly have taken three hearts of damage? You'd be dead if you did. You know? And X is the map. Alright. Cool. Got him. The big key. <laughs> Yes, I understand. Okay, so we're gonna call it here. Um, oh no, I wanted to, are we still there? Nope, well, I didn't save, so oh well. Guess I'll be doing that one on my own then, at some point. Um, yeah, until next time, let me know your thoughts on these games in the comment section down below. Uh, are there different games for two player? No, really not. Uh, anyway, again, I have been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. And uh, let me know your thoughts on Nintendo Switch Online Super NES in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember to always enjoy the full spectrum with the Super Nintendo. Best offer.